unveiling the website for the Soho Way Film Festival, as well as the program, which you've already got in your hands. So our platinum sponsors are the Canada Council for the Arts, the Province of New Brunswick, the City of Fredericton, CDC, the Postman, and that's the post-production company, not the mailman, <laughs> the Crown Plaza, Social Community of St. Anne, Accessible Media, UMB Faculty of Arts, and then the many other sponsors, gold, bronze, supporters, and stuff like that. Without this support, this festival would not happen. So let's give those folks a real The way that this really hits uh, home for me is uh, last year was my first year at the uh, film festival and uh, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was fantastic, I had a great time. But um, I uh, was married uh, around that time period and since then I went to uh, Toronto and uh, met some of my wife's family. And uh, one of my cousins now is actually a filmmaker up there. And when he found out that I was married, the first thing he asked me is, have you been to the Silverway Film Festival? And this is in Toronto. And you think about what they do in Toronto and the fact that what we have here in Fredericton matters to people out there. I think that's fantastic. It's a feather in our cap, and it's certainly a gem. And we're so proud of City Hall to have it. I said my name is Rob Hartland from Accessible Media, and yeah, last year we were one of the bronze sponsors, and uh, it was a test for the uh, everybody back in Toronto or the center of the universe, as I like to refer to head office, and. Basically, it was uh, our opportunity to show them back in Toronto exactly what it was that we do here in the Silver Lake Film Festival, and it was just went off uh, splendidly. They were amazed with exactly what we do down here. They were very impressed with it, uh, and it was a, a no-brainer when it came to uh, bumping up to the platinum uh, sponsorship this year. Uh, we're very honored to be uh, part of the, uh, the festival as a platinum sponsor. Uh, we're definitely looking forward to it. We have a lot of folks from head office coming down to uh, to see the festival. Uh, that the film, The History of the Growler, by uh, Jesse Anthony and Scott Daisy. So first of all, the festival couldn't happen without the strong core of volunteers involved. Um, there's about 50 volunteers that work on the festival and love and are doing two and three jobs to make sure that everything happens to make a smooth festival and an enjoyable event for everyone. So I think that's, first and foremost, I always have to thank the volunteers, well, actually after the sponsor, but they're still really most of the films that you see at the festival are made by volunteers. These aren't sort of jobs and paid positions. It would be great if it was, but it's, it's basically swept labor by a lot of people who believe in something, believe in the idea of making films. So, very important. Um, this year we have over 90 films playing at the festival, so it seems like a lot. If they were all featured films, it would be here until probably the end of December. But luckily there's some short films in there. So for our new shorter attention spans, this is perfectly good. <laughs> um, so four days um, as well, 50% of the films playing are from New Brunswick filmmakers. And that was the reason why the festival was created, was to support the work of local filmmakers. We also bring in films from outside as well. But it's great to see such a huge number of films that are produced locally. And I think that's probably, you know, are here. Our opening film this year is called Letha Accidents, and for anyone who looked at it and thought, you know, the spelling was correct, well, you know, I guess it's back to school again, because they deliberately spelled it that way. But it's, it's an interesting film. It has a lot of, of half the crew is from New Brunswick, which was one of the reasons why we chose it. Um, two friends decide to kill each other's husband. So it's sort of a, you know, a bit of a feminist story and stuff like that. So that should be an intriguing way to start the festival with some murder. Um, the closing film, just so we end on a happy note, our closing film is called Killing Ruth. It's not that, that it's not really much. Okay, so we're starting with murder and we're ending with the murder. Um, we've got fiction films, docs, animations, experimental films. Like I say, there's something for everyone. One of the highlights of the festival, of course, are the indie short comedies and dramas. We have two evenings, two programs each evening. So this is the most programs of short dramas and comedies we've ever had, which is um, shows that there is growth every year in a number of productions. And I can say this year from seeing 
the films, that the quality keeps rising each year as well. So we're setting a higher bar every year with production we're doing, which is wonderful. Bye.